Right then, folks, something a little bit different. We're painting one of these awesome Eureka minis. Uh, Soviet in NBC suit. We're actually going to be painting this chap here with the RPG. It's base coated in black, but that's why it's a little bit hard to see. I missed a bit there, but it's fine. Um, so it's primed in black. What I've done with these guys is I've picked a couple at a time, painted a couple at a time. So there's a couple of each with different uh, coloured NBC suits because there's a huge variety, a range of NBC suits out there. Well, there was in the, in the 80s, but the police still are now. Um, so what I'm going to use for base on this one is some Citadel Strachan Green. I'm going to slam it all over the miniature. Not being too careful. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I've added mixing balls to all my paints as well recently, which is handy. It's slightly watered down as well. Remembering that the NBC suit includes gloves. And boots. Fairly easy paint job, this. Nothing too taxing. They're a joy to paint these minis. Um, really, really like them. I've got some more. More of their uh, Soviets. This time tank crew and gas mask to paint. So I paint a lot of that Soviet tank crew. We'll say if you, I'm using 20mm uh, MDF bases. And it's Citadel paint, uh, like painting stand. You will need some blue tack. It's just not just not enough grip just not quite enough grip so i've been pretty liberal like i said it's slightly watered down so we'll be doing two coats i won't bore you all with two coats so what i'll do is i'll do this one coat and i'll leave it to dry then i'll paint the second coat and we'll come back once i've got two coats on super super easy paint job on this as well a bit more detail in there. Right, we'll come back once I've done the second coat and it's dried. There we go, two thin coats. <coughs> Watered down coats. Oh, that's strap and green. And it's a cool colour we come up with. Next. Some Athonian cam camo shade. All over. And then leave that to dry. Got a bit of ham with it, but then I can just use a brush to take any excess back off. There we go. <clears throat> That's the, the basis for the green, really, there. Other than a slight dry brush towards the end, that's the, the NBC suit done. You've got next is obviously the gas mask and hose, the pack and straps, the RPG and the RPG waterhead. Obviously it's strap that's run, run around the back to this pack. But we'll do those once this is dried. That's all dried now. Starting to look at the part. I've got this uh, ammo dry brush paint. You can use any dry brush paint. It's my new favourite one. And I've got an unpainted dry brush.
There we go. Next up is a gas mask. Right then, we've got this green stuff, World Zombie Flesh. I'm gonna paint the gas mask and the hose. Oh, it's all leaked all over everything. One second, and we're back. Well, there we go, super happy with that because then I've got the shakiest hands in the west, east, west. One sec, coming this east, cut this west, shakiest hands in the west, or the east. Um, but yeah, so that came out nice. Put a bit more in there, actually. Good thing this colour scheme, I probably won't need to go over that again, maybe in a couple of places, probably not. I've got a little bit of bleed out though. Do with a wet brush. There we go, tidied that up nicely. All right, we'll leave that to dry. I'm going to concentrate on the bag and the straps, and then we'll be on to RPG, and we're pretty much done then. Mine's a couple of uh, lenses. Like I say, super, super easy to do. Super nice sculpts to paint as well. But yeah, we'll come back once that's dry and we'll be doing the uh, bag and strap. Okay, for the bag and the straps, we're going to rerun this scale 75 walnut colour. SC29. 29? Yeah. Let's zoom in. Start up by the RPG. Sorry, let me just move the camera. There we go. Apologise, man. This is a little bit of a tight shot. <clears throat> Zoom out a tiny amount. I can't get close enough to see what I'm doing. And the camera is too far away, otherwise. I've not learned how to paint for a camera lens. Well, it's an iPhone, so. <laughs> That's a little bit easier for me. Just 
just have a look at that one second. Hey. All things considering, I came out pretty well. There we go. While we're at it, I've got the brown out. I'm going to use another brown, a red brown. I'm going to paint the parts of the RPG that are, that are wooden or a wooden colour. So I'm using a little bit of scale 75 red leather, SC30. One second. Oops. SC30. So a couple of parts on the RPG are, are like a brown, a brown colour. This, this section here is brown. And then where the hand and the grip are are brown as well, I believe. One second. No, nope, I was wrong. Totally back to front on that. Child of, an eight, of the 80s, I should know what an RPG looks like, really, shouldn't I? So up to this line is brown. And then this little grip in here, and what I can see is brown. I'm trying to get the back of that, that's a that's a task. There we go, we're going to call that good. So there. The rest of the RPG is black. So I'll paint that. I don't really need to see me painting black, so I'll paint that off camera. I'll come back in in a second. Right then. We're back. So what I've done is I've... Gosh, the light's poor. Two seconds. Sorry about the wobbly camera. There we go. So I've painted the RPG wired in black. Just used army paint and matte black. Um, painted the shaft of the RPG uh, warhead in this German field grey by Vallejo and I also used the black on the RPG on the parts that are meant to be black. So we've rid of the finishing gates on this now. Got a couple of things to do. I've got to get some gun metal on that buckle. There's only one buckle that you can see. Uh, some gun metal around the eye sockets. Focus. There we go. Some gun metal around the eye sockets and then a couple of little drops of black in there as lenses. Before that though, all the brown stuff and the gas mask needs to be washed in a brown wash, right on flesh shade. So I'll do that now. I'll come back when that's done. Do the last few details. Just did those bits off camera. Lenses in. Yeah. Buckle done. Blacked out the base as well, ready for basing. So what I've been basing these guys with, it's been a combination of things. It says Javis Scenery on this box. It's one of uh, it's from Javis range. If I can find it, I'll put a link below. It's really, really good. I love it. Awesome for this. And I've been using some Army Paint and Wasteland Tufts as well. So what I've been doing, I'm going to get my large flat brush and some scenic glue. Glove. 
I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do this off camera and we'll come back once it's done. That'll be much easier. Because I'm making the right hash of this otherwise. Sorry, folks. And here we go, folks. All finished up, all based. All lovely. Came out really, really well. Super happy. Super pleased with the colour scheme as well. Um, I'll just do a full rotation. And then I'll stick the others on there and we'll have a look at them all together. That's a completed squad. These Eureka Minis are really good. Super nice to paint. A joy to paint. They got me back in loving back into loving metal minis again, that's for sure. See that red brown, that red leather's quite good on the RPG. Let's see everything everything that needs to stand out stands out in the way it needs to stand out, obviously. We just stop this and I'll stick on all the other figures and then I'll look at the whole lot together. And this is the gang. Well, gang, eight figures. So it's only other ways I can run this in different ways. I can take different team members for different situations, or I can just start up with a with a with a set number of figures and then use the rest as reinforcements. My turntable is not liking this much metal on it. But yeah. Came out super nice, fits in well. Got a couple of different shades of MBC suit there. All the gas masks are the same shades. Um, lovely figures. If you get a chance to pick some up, pick them up. They're not that they're not vast expensive. A couple of quid of Vega. I think it's really, really good. I'll leave some links in the description below. Um, yeah, uh, this is a, my second proper figure painting video. Uh, I prefer this one much more to the, the trouble if I did. Want to see more stuff like this? Comment below, let me know. And I'll speak to everyone next time. Thank you.